need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. In this lesson, we'll talk about the second time that you thank your interviewer. Pay attention to this step. Employment professionals agree this is the part of the job seeking process which most candidates fail to complete. For some reason, many people think that following up with a thank you after a job interview is something that was only done in the old days. This simply isn't the case. If a human resources professional interviews 20 people for the same position and only two of those people send the interviewer a thank you after the interview, obviously those two people have set themselves apart from the crowd. Your thank you should take one of three forms. You can send the interviewer a written note, you can email the interviewer, or you can call the interviewer on the phone. There are pros and cons to each method. In the case of a written thank you card, they're very effective because they're so rare. A written note really does express that you took the time to sit down and express your gratitude to the interviewer. However, if the interview was for a job that must be filled very quickly, a card might not make it through the mail before the interviewer makes a decision. In the case of email, the advantage is that you can send a thank you immediately in writing. Unfortunately, because email doesn't take much effort, it doesn't have as much impact as a written note. If you choose to call your interviewer on the phone after the interview to say thanks, it definitely sends a message of confidence and demonstrates that you like to deal with things directly. However, you do run the risk of getting the person's voicemail, in which case you should know in advance exactly what message you're going to leave. Phone conversations are also two-way interactions, which gives you less control of the communication. Whichever method you choose, your post-interview thank you should always contain four distinct elements. First, express gratitude that the person took the time to meet with you. Second, relate a specific positive memory from the interview that will make the interviewer smile. Third, add another fact into the mix. This might be something that you didn't get to mention during the interview or something that you realize later that you should have said. Um, if you have any notes about unanswered questions, take the opportunity to answer them. Finally, ask for the job again. So, a great handwritten thank you might look like this. Dear Courtney, thank you so much for taking the time to interview me this morning. It was great meeting you and learning that we both went to MSU. Go Spartans! I also want to mention that I'm fluent in French. You said that some of your biggest clients are from Quebec, and I know how important client communications are at Acme Insurance. I hope you think I'd make a great addition to the team, because I would love to work for you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely, Mary. If you're having trouble thinking of what to say in your thank you, refer back to the notes that you took right after the interview. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.